In today's episode, you will learn how to create your own Android cell phone application for monitoring any sensor using Arduino, HC-05 Bluetooth module and an Android cell phone. For the best understanding, I'm using a variable resistor as the sensor. Later, this variable resistor can be replaced with any sensor you want. This sensor monitoring application is designed using Android Studio. This is version 2 of the Android cell phone application designing. While in version 1 of the Android cell phone application designing, I created an application to control an LED using only two buttons light on and light off. I will provide a link in the description if you want to watch this tutorial. In this episode we will cover number 1. Complete circuit diagram explanation. Number two, interfacing. Number three, Arduino programming. Number four, step-by-step -step Android cell phone application designing using Android Studio. And finally, number five, testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is a very basic circuit diagram designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. For the demonstration purposes I am using a variable resistor. This variable resistor can be easily replaced with any sensor you want. As you can see, the metal leg of the variable resistor is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A0, while the other two legs of the variable resistor are connected with the Arduino's 33 volt and ground. On the left side, we can see a Bluetooth module. You can use HC-05 or HC-06 Bluetooth module. If you are using a Bluetooth module for the first time, then you can watch my Getting Started tutorial on the Bluetooth module. The link is given in the description, which completely explains how to change the name of the Bluetooth module and how to change the pairing code. The Bluetooth module TX and RX pins are connected with the Arduino pin number 2 and pin number 3. Pin number 2 and pin number 3 will be used as a serial port, which will be defined in the programming. While the VCC and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. As you know my friends in Arduino we have only one serial port which is available on pin number 0 and pin number 1. As I always say never use these pins for communication with other devices. The Arduino's default serial port should only be used for the debugging purposes. You can always define other serial ports using the software serial library. So that's the reason I added the software serial.h header file. I defined a serial port with the name blue on pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. Pin number 2 is the RX while pin number 3 is the TX. On the third line I defined a pin for the variable resistor which is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Arduino. Then I defined a variable V data of the type integer. This variable will be used to store the value of the variable resistor. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the white setup and white loop functions. This is inside the white setup function that we tell the controller what are the input pins and what are the output pins. As in this tutorial, I'm using a variable resistor as a sensor, so that's why I set it as the input using the pin mode function. Then I activated the serial communication and I selected 9600 as the baud rate. One more thing about the white setup function, it executes only one time when the Arduino Omega board is powered up. Then starts the white loop function. Using the analog read function, we read the analog pin as 0 to which a variable resistor is connected and store the value and variable V data. And lastly, we send the data to the Android cell phone application. 
after every one second data is sent to the Android cell phone sensor monitoring application. So that's all about the Arduino programming. Due to the tutorial time limitation, I explained all the designing steps and programming in an article which is available on my website. I have added so many pictures that will help you understand how the designing and programming is done. This tutorial completely explains how to receive data from the Arduino or Bluetooth and how to generate the APK file. I have already installed the app. Now let's watch this project in action. As you can see, the Arduino is already powered up. I'm using a 12 volt adapter. As you can see, currently the LED is blinking fast, which means that this Bluetooth module is not connected with the Android cell phone. The Bluetooth module connections with the Arduino are exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorial. This is a variable resistor which I am using as the sensor. As you can see the white wire is connected with the Arduino's 3.3 volt. The middle wire which is the yellow wire is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A0. The gray wire is connected with the ground so that's all about the connections. First of all open the Bluetooth. Select the Bluetooth module and enter the pairing code which is 4321. As you can see, it's added. Open the sensor monitoring application. Click on the search button and select the Bluetooth module and then click on the connect button. As you can see, the application is connected and now I can receive data wirelessly over Bluetooth. By rotating the knob of the variable resistor, we can increase and decrease the value. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.